Okay, so I am going to show you how to make a button. So we open a new document and we're going to go insert new symbol. Or you can go control F8. Make it a button and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it button. And then this should open up. Now up, up, up in the top here, it says up, over, down and hit. Up is when your mouse isn't over the button. Over is when your mouse is over the button. Down is when you're clicking on the button. And hit is the area where you can click on the button. So, first of all, I'm just going to make a little square type thing here. A roundish square. Like that. You can make it whatever shape you want. And so that it's in the right spot at hit, I'm just going to go insert keyframe. And I'm going to convert these two middle ones to keyframes too. Because otherwise, whenever you draw on one, it'll do it on the other. So there we go. So on up, this is what we want it to say. I'm going to put some static text on it saying home. That's what I'm going to put. And I'm going to move that up. Ah, uh, bugger. Going to move that up a little. Okay, see there? That's that. This is just a very basic button. And over. I'm going to make it so when you go over, the text color changes to... Uh, I don't know, let's say, um, blue. And when you actually click on it, the, you just can't see anything but a black button. No text or anything. And the hit, you just have that whatever color. You don't have to put any text on that or anything. It's just wherever you click. So if we go back to scene 1, and we go to our library, and drag our button out, press Control enter to preview it, See, when I put my mouse over, the text goes blue, and when I click, it goes black. Very good. Now, if I go back to my button, I'll show you how to change the color here. We go to, if we open up the color panel, and we turn the line, the little pencil, into a red line, and we click on the bucket and change the drop down menu to uh, linear linear I don't know whatever that says and you can just play around with this dragging the arrows back and forth changing the colors making the alpha less so it's see-through and see now my buttons actually kind of faded but you can play around with that and see you can't really see it and then pause up but you can play around with that and have some fun change your buttons thank you for watching if you have any questions please post me a comment